Hi and welcome back to Leslie Crafts. Uh, this next little haul is um, metal pieces. Mine went blank there. So I've got all these and um, I've sort of rebagged them up so it doesn't look as much but we'll just go through them. So I've got these. These are little like little ring pieces which and they're like little expandable so you can put them on your your fingers and stuff so um i'm not too sure what i'm going to do with these um whether or not i'm just going to stick them as rings or try and do something fancy with them so so i've got a few of them um, and again if you ask louise anything for the metal she might have some because i know she uses some for her kits and stuff like that so I'm going to have one, I'm going to push these all to one side so I've got somewhere to put them. And then I've got these which are like little metal, this little metal grids. So I thought these would be quite good for um, adding on to my albums I'm making and also some like TNs and stuff like that. I've got these little padlocks. Now I'm doing quite a few moments. I've got like I'm filming a little Harry Potter series. So I thought these little padlocks would be quite good for that as well. Um just to add a little bit of you know detail and stuff like that. So that's what I'll be using these padlocks for. And I've got like some of these really small keys which I thought again would go quite well with the Harry Potter theory series because so obviously he he has to chase a key in the first film so I thought they would be quite cute to you as well and then we've got some owls now these owls are like little flat backs so um, I want to do a series on Alice in Wonderland as well, doing an albums and other stuff with that. So for that will go quite if you can I don't know if you can see that. Go quite well with that little series I want to do. And then we've got some hearts and again I thought these would go quite well with Alice in Wonderland as well. So good them. So if there's anything you like, then ask Louise, and I'm sure she's got some more. But I didn't clear that out totally. Um, got these as well. These like the cool cherubs. Now for these one, but might be quite good on some baby albums and stuff like that. So that goes in that bag there. Um, got some more owls. So, so these look a bit different. Don't know if we can. I don't know how well we're going to show up on the camera. So, got them. A piece of white paper, a bit better underneath. Maybe. So I got them in there. <coughs> And then I've got these, which I thought would make good. So I think I can get some um, little one inch circle discs or just a little bit under. Yeah. Yeah, See you later, Victoria. See you later. So, yeah, so I thought they would be quite good. So that's my daughter off to work. I'm going to work very soon. And then I've got some of these anchors because I think nautical is in quite well. But <clears throat> as you've seen in previous things, I've got some stamps and stuff which will quite go quite well with that. So I've got them. And then what else did I get? I've got some ship wheels. I've got two different types. Now I've put some of these in my 
um, Disney uh, box because I thought these would go quite well with like Mickey Mouse and stuff like that we've seen both Willy and stuff like that so yeah so I've got some of them in that one and then got some in gold so got them so that's quite good And then I've got some little rabbit heads. Now, again, these will go quite well with Alice in Wonderland. So, yeah. So, I think they're quite sweet. So, little rabbit heads. Then I've got some really big owls. You can see them in the bag. These are really big. And again, these might go well with Alice in Wonderland, I'm not too sure. Got some more different keys. So I've got them. So they're all quite nice. So. And then I've got some of these different types of keys. So you can see them through the bag. There you go. And then I've got some of these. Now, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with these. I think they will look quite good on a like um, a notebook as a centrepiece. Maybe with some mixed media on top, just to give it a bit, bit of things. So I might play around with them. Right, and again, I've got some of these. Now, these might go with my Disney thing because they're like little roses. So you know if we see Bella there and stuff like that so that might be quite good and then we've got some more hearts these are like little solid hearts so it's quite good and then I've got some of these these are like I might have a really small print I can put stuff out in the middle so I put I'm not too sure if you can see them because of the lighting. lighting. But there's them there. And then we've got some more different types of types of locks. I've got a hole in my bag. Yeah. There we go. So I've got them as well. So I need to seal the hole. And then what else? These I got. So again, I think they will look quite good on a like a book notebook and stuff. And then I got these. These like little, you know, they're jewelry ones, so you can hang hang things off them. There you go. So, quite a few of them. And then I've got <coughs> some of these. So, they're like little stalk scissors. They've got quite nice because I've got a die set and it's all to do with sewing and stuff another fold in the back bag and again these scissors are a little bit different so I've got them and then I've got these as well so then again you can put stuff in the middle so I'm not too sure what I can put in the middle but it's really small but yeah so I might do something with them. So yeah, so that is my like metal charm haul and stuff like that. So that will keep me going for I don't know a couple of years. So um, again, thanks for watching. And if you like anything you see, um, have a word with Louise, and um, she'll see if there's anything left. And um, yeah, so that's 
it for the time being and um, I'm off to work so I will see you all very soon enjoy it enjoy your time crafting bye now